everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. I am so thankful that you took the time and wanted to quilt with me today. Well, we have the most incredible quilt to work on and we are starting our quilt alone. Are you in? Do you want to play with me? We're going to be making this gorgeous quilt called Star Upon Stars. I love this quilt. It is so much fun. Do not be afraid. We will take a small steps for our little journey and eventually we will have our blocks done. I thought for our quilt alone, the best way is to start with one block, focus on that block, learn all the techniques, and then we move on and keep going and keep repeating. And I tell you, this quilt is like potato chips. Once you get one, you cannot stop it. You're gonna be making stars over and over again. Many times when I start a new quilt, and especially when it's a little bit more advanced project, I do a practice block. And this block right here on a table that I made it to a small wall hanging was my practice block for this beautiful quilt. Our quilt alone will require a few steps and we're gonna start by making those stars right here. This, they call them, we call them small stars, small stars. Then our second time when we meet next week, you're gonna be making this, this star right here. And then we're gonna go ahead for our sashing and our corner, where, uh, corner stars. Now I have some stuff in my quilting basket and I wanna show you what you need to make this beautiful quilt. You can go ahead and dive into your stash and grab some beautiful fat aids and work from those to make your blocks. This quilt requires a lot of beautiful fat aids because we wanna make it nice and scrappy. If you don't know where to start, maybe purchasing a beautiful fat aid bundle where you have a startup point with a nice color and I love the bundle called Primrose because the colors are very similar to my quilt. I'm gonna be using a little bit brighter background this time for my stars but this bundle could be a great startup point now notice i have blues i have greens beautiful pinks and darks this is going to be a great startup point but this is not enough fabric for the whole quilt you're going to need a little bit more so in my basket today i have two of my favorite bundle my scrappy bundle light this is going to be perfect for any backgrounds or any lights that I wanted to throw it inside the star. So this is wonderful bundle. And I have a second bundle called Scrappy Dark. Notice all those beautiful dark fabrics, medium. They are just wonderful and they're gonna be great for our stars, our background, sashings, anything you need i think this bundle will work great and this is what i'm gonna work from if you do not want to purchase those bundles just look at the directions and um, pull up from your stash all those beautiful pieces i already start pulling from those bundles and i have some things that i want to show you so i'm going to put those to the side another thing that you're going to need is a pattern the pattern comes through individual pattern or you can get the pattern from a book called a patches of stars i'm going to be using the pattern because i want to separate the pages i have my first step my first page that i'm going to be working from it's going to be page four that i'm going to be working from i have that already on my table right in front of me here so i'm going to keep it on the side to keep me organized and that way i know what i'm doing next i'm moving the steps around in the pattern for you guys for this quilt alone why am i doing this because i think if you start with a small star what it's right here it's going to allow you to learn the technique of basic eight point star and we're going to be referring to that technique many times so are you ready set go to make some small stars i hope so but let's see what else we have it in our basket so like i said pattern we also have a nice set of acrylic templates look at the templates now from those templates what i did 
I pull for today only the ones that I need. Don't get mixed up because in your template set, you have multiple diamonds, multiple squares, multiple little triangles. So look at and pull small star. Those are the templates that you need for today. It's easy to get mixed. So don't look at for the corner star, look at for the small star. Pull those out and put them right in front of you. Super. Now, with every new project, I love to have a fresh rotary. Mine is already on a table. You can use a beautiful thread called Secret Stash. And notice the cover has our beautiful quilt on it. Or if you just want a 2370, if we don't have 2370, 2325 works just as nice. I like the 2370 and the 2325 because it's a little bit darker. So it's going to blend beautifully with all my colors and it's not going to stick out into my in my seam. So don't go too light on your thread. You want something a little bit muted, a little bit darker. 2370 is going to be perfect. So also best press is super fun uh, because you're going to press your fabric, get that stiffness to it, but not too stiff. So you can use best press to prep all your fabrics and you're going to be ready, set, go. The secret stash thread, they're all different colors. So if you're very particular and you want to have matching colors, this is the uh, um, set that I would recommend. But for any projects, you guys know me, less is better. I go with simple things and I tackle one thing at a time because when you climb a mountain, I don't like to go ahead and look at the peak and get afraid of it. No, I like to just take one little step and enjoy those little steps that take me all the way to the top where I can overlook the view. So just with this project, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to take a small steps. I'm going to do them very slowly so that way you can repeat it. Everything that we do, you can repeat to make many blocks. But for this quilt alone, we're going to focus on one block, one sashing, one cornerstone, get it done, and then keep going to build the whole quilt. It's going to take us a little time. But don't you fear, that is one thing that I enjoy spending time quilting and having fun with you guys. So first thing what you're going to do is you're going to take your fabric and you're going to pull up a stash for one star, for one star. So for one star, what I need, and I went into my bundles and I combined some pieces from my uh, primrose bundle and my scrappy darks and scrappy lights. And what I did is I picked nine pieces, nine pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces for my star, for this part of my uh, uh, block right here. So when I'm picking those pieces, I'm looking at different sizes, different colors. I love the darker blue and I actually started right there. I want this darker blue and I start matching things to it. I noticed that my uh, black had the blue in it. So that really worked nice. Then I had a blue with a lighter background, but the darker onto it. Then there was another blue that I pulled and I love that little yucky green in it. That shaded beautifully to that light one and that green just popped everything and matched really nice together for me. For this area, I keep going and picking those beautiful pieces with a blue on it and a little bit green to it. That green also is in here and not as blue right there. And then I moved on to this polka dot because I see the darker green, olive green right there. And I thought this would be great. This is going to be for one of those diamonds, for uh, eight of the diamonds that I'm going to be doing right Right here. I'm pulling the fabrics, those are fat aids, and I'm creating color combinations that I'm going to be using for my block, for my first block. As soon as I finish uh, with my star, with the center, I went and looked at for lovely pieces that I could use right here. And for this one, I thought I'm going to set this beautiful star in a beautiful pink uh, stars. So I got a little background with the olive green and matched it right here. And I want a nice accent because 
I wanted that star to stand out. Not always you want to put something dark. Sometimes you want to maybe a little purple, maybe a little blue for your stars that go around. And remember, you're going to also need pinks for this area right here. And there is plenty of pinks in your bundle as well as your scrappy bundle. That is something you need to pull to the side, cut your strips and set them to the side so that way you have them ready for that step when we are building the sashings because you don't want to use up that fabric you do want the leftovers of those fabrics you only need nine pinks and we have I counted 15 beautiful pinks that I'm going to be tapping into it. The leftover of those pinks, you want to leave it. So you use it also in the stars or like this time I grabbed one of the darker pinks and I'm going to be using around the star. So just remember that. But don't stress too much one star at a time. And I just want to show you something that I thought was very important when you're choosing colors. So once I finished my stock, I went and chose my accent fabric right here. This is going to be my stars. From this area, following the directions, I'm going to be cutting for the star leftovers I'm gonna save it and put it into next star because I think it's very important when you're building your stars that they are not disconnected from each other more about it in our second step I'm gonna just for now move this to the side I'm gonna just save my pinks on a table because this is what we're gonna work on today we're gonna focus on the small star what it's right here and with this one we're going to learn the technique how to put our little eight point star together so right there i started with my fabrics i have a light and a uh, dark i'm gonna press both of the fabric then i'm gonna go ahead and i just want to stop for one minute I'm using my scraps for my step-by-step -step for this video. So don't get suddenly um, uh, discouraged and say, oh my gosh, she had a little light with little pink on it. And now suddenly she's showing us this color. Please, please allow me to reuse my scraps for our step-by-step -step because I want to use this in my quilt. So I'm just using anything that I found it in my studio to just show you the technique, not the actual star that I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to show you the step-by-step, -step, but I'm using scraps. So don't matter the color at this moment. Just think about light and a pink. So from my light fabric, I cut squares for my background of my little stars and I need four of those little squares. You can cut them with your ruler and a rotary by cutting a strip and then cutting your little squares. And we are going to be making four stars for each corner of your block and four half small stars for sides of your block. Follow the fabric cutting directions in your pattern to do this to cut one star to be ready set go for now i'm just going to show you one block and this is what i like to do i just tackle um one block at a time if i would have to cut i would have cut enough for all of them for just preparing you i'm starting with just one so right there if you finish cut if you don't want to cut it with rotary and a ruler i would use the small square by just placing it right over my fabric and cutting my little four low squares and what it's so nice with the low templates they are perfect to mark pieces for sewing but also to reuse any little scraps once you have your four squares done, the next step is you're going to cut a square from this square by cutting twice diagonally. You will cut four quarter square triangles. You're going to cut it twice for four quarter square triangles. This is what you need for one low star. Remember, we are going to need four of them for a whole block and four of the half star. So repeat it accordingly so you can have enough 
for the whole star. Now, I'm going to put those pieces to the side and move on to one of my favorite things, cutting diamonds. To cut my diamonds from my fabric, I will cut a strip. For this strip, you follow directions in the pattern. You cut a one and a quarter inch strip for the small star and A. You can go ahead, grab the little templates, place them right down just like this, and with a small cut, cut, you're gonna be cutting a low diamonds. This is so fun and easy. So you can go ahead and cut a diamonds. If you do not have the templates, that's okay. Don't stress about it. All that you have to do is take your ruler, place it right over, find the 45 degree angle, you match the 45 degree angle with the bottom of your edge of your strip. And now all that you're going to have to do is measure one and one quarter this way and go ahead and cut just like this. And you're going to be cutting them. You need eight of them for one star. I already have them pre-cut, ready, set, go front of me. Look at those beautiful low diamonds. I'm going now. I'm going to take two diamonds and put them right sides together, just like this. And I'm going to stitch from the top straight down. Stop backstitch. You probably wonder where should you stop and backstitch. Now your little template gonna come handy again because right there with a pencil and my template I can mark the spot where I start right here at the point and I stop and backstitch right here at this point. I already did a set of two diamonds for you guys. Look at this. I drew even larger line here. So you see it. You want to stop quarter inch away from this wall. You want to leave a little opening right here. That calls a Y seam. As soon as I finish one set of two, I'm going to go ahead and repeat three more because I need total of four sets of two. Then I'm going to be pushing my seam allowance towards left as I'm looking at it towards left. Look how cute this is. Then I'm going to go ahead, take two of those, place them right sides together, match right here this seam, lock this seam. And now I'm going to stitch from the top straight back stitch. Again, I'm going to stop right here quarter inch away from this side quarter inch away notice it just like this stop mark this for yourself oops just threw my pen right there start sewing stop back stitch okay we just finished we're gonna trim the bunny ears we just finished open it up and now we have a half a star half a star so if you wanted to you could do all of them right there and now take leave four for the half stars and keep going on the full stars and go ahead and make a full one for the corner for now i want you to practice just one just to see how it works if you ready set go dive into it and let's do all of them but if you want to just little taste a little bit at a time then let's just finish our first star as soon as you finish the halves, you take two halves together, place them right sides together and you sew them. Look at this, starting from the center out back stitch, flip over just like this, start from the center, stop back stitch and you're going to create a beautiful eight point star, beautiful eight point star. Before I do anything, I wanted to make sure that I open on the back that center right here, right here. I already start sewing my triangle, so please ignore this part. I just did it for the sample for you guys. But the first thing that I would have done is open the center right there. Okay, now let's start with that triangle. I know you're excited about it. All that I did is I fold my star back in half. I went and I pulled one of the points down and look at, I have a beautiful triangle waiting for me right now. I'm going to
gonna place my background triangle that I have cut it for myself. Also, with this beautiful template, I can go ahead and again, using my pencil, mark a point. This is my sewing point. This point should be right on that fold. I'm gonna take a pin and I'm gonna pin it right in place, right there. I'm gonna start, now this is beautifully folded. I'm gonna start sewing, stop, back stitch. Of course, you're gonna pull the pin out before you get to this point, stop and back stitch, and look what I'm doing. I'm moving this whole star, only keeping the two points together, okay? And now I'm gonna finish sewing. I'm gonna start right here, lock my stitch, and finish sewing all the way to the end. Okay, all the way to the end. One more time. Start right here, come to the point, stop back stitch, clip your threads, flip the whole thing, and finish sewing from here straight down. I already did one of those on this side, so we have it ready for today. Look, so simple, so easy. Finish sewing. I clip my threads nice and short because I locked my seams, and now I will open this up, open this right here, and make sure I pushed open my seams towards my star and I have my first Y seam done. Now I'm gonna go ahead, finish another one and another one and another one and I'm gonna have all my triangles ready, set, go. Now once you finish your triangles, you're gonna do the same thing with your squares. You're gonna fold it, you're gonna pull it and you're gonna set in a square into the seam. If you want a more detailed direction on a base basic eight point star, please visit our YouTube channel. We have a basic eight point star where I in intense teach you how to do those stars, the Y seams. But for now, once you finish, you go ahead, finish your squares and you are ready, set, go. Your first part of your block is done. Oh, those a little pink eight point star is gonna be so cute in one of my blocks. And I am not planning to have a lot um, like a color in this area. I'm only gonna have few, maybe a green, maybe a blue, a little purple. The rest, I'm trying to keep it in the darker cocoa brown, really pretty colors. For example, look at this stash for one of my stars. It has beautiful teals, gold, blue accent of orange, and I chose this for my star. So right there, I'm gonna have a nice, beautiful brown, beautiful a set of earthy tone a star. So that's another low stash. So see how I pick up my combination? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is gonna go for my star. This is my background. I right away keep that and make my stars for my background. And then next week, I'm gonna see you. We're gonna start working on our stars. When I do something, I try to repeat over and over the same thing to get really good in it. So this allows me to do that. And then next week, we're gonna worry about how we take our fabrics, line them up to a perfect color combinations, and you can switch things back and forth. And you know, you're gonna have a second chance to switch things when you put your star diamonds, if you don't like it, you can always turn it around and it will look completely different. So that is gonna be more next time I'm gonna see you uh, with that one. But for today, keep going because you need, like I said, four of those, then you're gonna grab the four half stars that you have saved and now add your background to them to create this beautiful unit. So how did I do this? I started with my triangles right there, then I add my square, and then I finish with the same size triangles for this area. Let me line this up for you so you see. So triangle, triangle, okay? Then you have a beautiful square, and then you're gonna go ahead and oh, this was a little tricky. I have to always remember to rotate them the right way, rotate them the right way to create 
a half of a star and this half of the star is going to go right here isn't that cute so super excited for you guys with this i love it i cannot wait to see your results keep going one block at a time and like i said it's really good idea to think about a practice block like this with this block you can really uh, do a good job on your small stars then we will work on our center star and then we're gonna go ahead for our sashings and corner stars so um, I hope you enjoy it. Happy quilting and I can't wait to see you next time for more stars upon, upon stars. Mm -hmm.